Hey guys, Steven here back with another video and today I'm going to teach you how you can create light leaks in Adobe After Effects. The problem with a lot of light leaks and overlays and stuff like that is a lot of people use the same ones off YouTube. Um, I decided to make this video so that you guys can actually customize your own and make them from scratch. You don't need any plugins or anything like that. So um, if you guys enjoy this video, make sure to hit the thumbs up button and let's get straight into it. So right here, I have a video of myself. Um, this is a YouTube video from last week. Basically, I'm going to apply like the final product on top of this. You don't actually have to input any clips for this tutorial. Um, if you edit in Adobe Premiere Pro or Final Cut or any other editor, you can just export the Light League at the end of this tutorial and apply it um, in that editor. Uh, we're just creating the Light League. So the first thing you want to do is create a new solid. So you want to right click on here and press new solid. So it's going to create a black screen if you select black. And now we're going to go to um, the effects and presets panel and we're going to search up fractal noise. So right here we have a bunch of like cloudy sort of things. I don't really know what this is, uh, but basically what we're going to attempt to do is smoothen everything out. And by doing that, it will create a gradient. And then from the gradient, we're going to create a light leak. So the first thing we're going to do is change the noise type to smoothen it out. So we're going to choose the last one. Then we're going to increase the contrast so like the colors are more unified so the blacks are kind of grouped together um and then we're going to decrease the brightness there's no exact setting that works the best so you can kind of play around with it which is the beauty of this all um, the next thing we're going to do is change the complexity so the complexity basically the more you increase it the more detail and noise there is and the more you decrease it the more like unified stuff is so you can see if we decrease it to like one it's kind of like blobs so that's sort of what we're going for now we're going to go to transform and we're going to scale it in because we want bigger blobs not smaller ones usually light leaks are like bigger ones and they usually come off the edge of the screen sort of thing so we're going to increase it so that they're bigger i'm actually going to invert it as well because you can see they're on the side right here instead of in the middle and to create the actual movement of the light leak we're going to mess with the evolution so we're going to press on the toggle animation right here and we're going to set a keyframe right at the beginning. So uh, now you can press U, uh, the letter U, and it'll show the keyframes now. So right here, the evolution is zero. And the more you increase the evolution, the more it moves. So you can see what that does. So now between these two points, it moves that much. But we can just move this point all the way to the end. So you can see what that does. So we want it a little bit faster. So that means the evolution will be a little bit higher. So let's make it like 350, something like that and move it to the end. So now you can see it's a little, little bit faster. And now to actually add color to this, you want to go and search up hue and saturation and drag it on top. And you want to go to colorize, uh, increase the saturation now so that it's not dull. And now there you have the color and to change the color, you just want to go to colorize hue and change the number. But I'm going to stick with red because I like red. And basically now what we want to do is if you don't see this mode option right here, you just want to right click on this top bar right here where it says like source name and all these icons. You want to go to columns and you want to select modes and basically just go to mode and select screen. And now you can see the light leak is applied. It's not perfect because it sort of is like a little bit blobby. I think it might be a little bit too slow, to be honest. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and hopefully it helped you out. Hopefully you can create some really good light leaks for yourself. Um, if you guys enjoyed this video, hit that thumbs up button. My name is Steven and I'll see you in the next one.